going on guys, Sprout here today, and today I'm going to be reacting to something that someone recommended, well, they recommended the channel. It's a series called Rainbow Dash Presents, and this one is going to be My Little Dashy. This is going to be interesting, seeing My Little Dashy was the first uh, thing to make me shed liquid pride image before I even became a brownie. Yeah, this is going to be pretty interesting. Um, the one I was asked to react to was Rainbow Dash Presents uh, Rainbow Factory, but I had already seen it, unfortunately. So, without further ado, let's just get into this. I really don't know what to expect. I am expecting a lot of parody stuff. So, let's just get into this. 3, 2, 1, go. The Rainbow Dash Presents My Little Dashy. Alright. By Greg Hoffman. Harry Wayne lived his life like any normal monkey, one day what at a time, experiencing one event after the next. Or maybe every event all at once, depending on how you think about it. But he just thinks he's experiencing one event at a time? Uh, you know, or, anyway, uh, no time travel or anything for the most part, except for forwards, which is kind of too Batman, bad. Batman, what the heck's bad? But fun is not something or Batman, that Harry or what's really Batman doing here? Having. He's more good at being angry at the city and vigilant against its shortcomings. It's become a routine since the death of his parents that he spends each night traveling the streets, ridding it of the wrongs that caused those deaths in the first place. He spends a lot of time staring at a pretty supercomputer, mostly super because of sentimental reasons, and it's freaking bad for his eyes. And so his routine remained, until one day when hanging an innocent man on a light pole for a crime he could have committed but actually didn't, Harry Oh my god, that's box, gonna be the narrator? His life forever. Or the guy that finds my little dashy? Who on earth leaves trash dashy? just laying around in the street? I swear people only think of themselves. A cat woman or what? Well, I, I don't know. To deal with yet another one of the cities. <gasps> it's freaking Rainbow Dash. Not just Rainbow Dash, but baby Rainbow Dash. The cutest, most potential filled, most it's scared, among naked kind of what? Rainbow Dash there is. Harry's dried and crusty heart cannot help but melt into a crusty soup. She's so adorable. Ooh. ooh. Now, who on earth would throw away a perfectly good magic pony? Harry immediately does what just about anybody would do in this kind of situation. He stuffs me down his shirt and runs off. Yep. Uh, now, contrary to what most ponies Alico. think, is very expensive. Alicorn, so is that what that's Harry supposed to be? all the debts on his Parenting. bat car, and his bat lube, and his bat pewter. That stuff costs millions. Just report everything is ruined. So that's what that looked like, that's that. Bat house. Just a God. house in a really bad part of town. So that's where he takes baby me. In fact, Harry Wayne actually has no real income at Harry all, so what? everything except his bat stuff is pretty run down, and the bat car is gonna be okay. on cinder blocks until he can bum a few hundred dollars off someone. As we enter the house, Harry stops to rub his little monkey fingers all over a picture of his parents. Hello, oh. Mom and Dad. They're, um, dead. They died fighting a horrible Lord Wizard spider or something or other. So, um, when that awkwardness is over, he dumps little me on the floor and lets me get to exploring, in the assumption that I'll be pretty darn cute. Yeah, of course, this house is pretty cold, so the first thing I do is pee. It's kind of like... The <laughs> After that, he feeds me carrots, which I'm just old enough for, and it makes us instant friends. My parents would have flipped me <laughs> if I'd gotten a whole carrot at this age. They'd be all like, eat your mushed. Alfalfa, it's good for you, but not Harry Wayne. Well, I don't know what horses eat, but you're a magical horse, so I'm sure it'll work out. Oh, and by the way, the heater hasn't worked since my father died. You're gonna be so happy here. And there I stay for months. I learned to talk pretty quickly, but I never get to go outside, and I think it's seriously stunting my emotional growth because I just destroy everything in my youthful rebellion. Like every youth. Dash, what are you doing up there? I am playing. Playing what? It's too noisy. I am playing run. I'm running. Well, no more playing <laughs> run. You can play sit instead. Uh, I hate. Yes. Sit is a nice game. Is it time out? <laughs> Kids today don't have enough imagination. What are you gonna do with basic cable? Oh my gosh, the basic <laughs> argument between kids and parents. <laughs> Big girls don't cry, Dashie. Big girls don't cry. Big girls don't cry. Sorry. Hey, hey, Dashie, look, look, I have a sugar cube. <laughs> If you play sit, you'll get a sugar cube. Uh, the puns okay, from the yeah, show. Gimme, give gimme give the cube. Do you like sit? Yes. Do you like sit? <laughs> yes, I like the cube. Reverse cut you psychology on kids. Like okay, or trickery. Like now, give that wouldn't be reverse cube. psychology. 
so precious. Now you be good. Daddy has to go to wizard school, and he'll be back for dinner. And whatever you do, don't wizard go school. What? Yeah, <laughs> no rule can withstand Rainbow Dad. <laughs> so she goes outside. Where you gonna get them nice shoes, girl? They match y'all's pink earrings. Oh, hey, Sven. I done got these at the rich monkey store where they sell one underwear at a time. H Hello? Hello? Hi, uh, my name is Rainbow Dash. I'm breaking the rules. Don't tell anybody. Oh my gosh, is y'all a magical pony? No, I think just regular. <laughs> regular? But you're talking in blue. That's not regular. You've got to be magical. Yeah, okay, uh, that's awesome. Uh, I didn't know other ponies, so I, I couldn't compare. My name is LaFonda. LaFonda de la Ronda Bafanya. But y'all can call me LaFonda. Okay, my first wish is to be a princess. Oh, that's a good wish. There's probably I, a I, reference I, here I, that I'm missing. Oh, um, oh, I, I don't know how to do that. Well, how come? So you lost from a leprechaun village or something? <laughs> no, I live here. Okay, well, <coughs> you want to Barbara's with me? Sure. Okay, then. You be Barbara, and I'll be Sven. Wow, girl, them sure is some sexy shoes. They make you look damn fine sexy, girl. Oh, <laughs> oh gosh. I, I don't know what that means for sure, but thank you so much. <coughs> oh, have y'all played Barbers before? You're pretty good at it. This is my first time, thank you. Uh, I don't know why my dad won't let me go outside. I'm having a really nice time. I don't have no dad. My mama says she don't need no man. Oh. Hey, y'all's a bony. You want some sugar cubes? Oh my god, I always want sugar cubes. Stop you the freaking some? buns. Gosh, being outside is like the best thing ever. Here y'all do. Oh my gosh. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, she's gonna be on a sugar rush. Sugar rush. What are y'all doing? I don't want this. Are you kidding? I have <clears throat> something in return. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no, my dad. That's what I said. Um, okay. Right then, I realized that if I went through that door, my monkey dad would see me and know for sure I broke the rules. Wow, it sure is lucky I left this book sitting here. Otherwise, I'd have had to search the whole house. Rainbow Dash, were you outside? Um. No. I broke the rules. I am a rebel. Sweetheart, it is very important that I don't you. have any scruples. Listen to me, Dad. I'm a rebel. You can't go outside because if you do... The government will find you, and then they'll cut you into pieces. Oh no, why would they do that? I don't know, it's just what the government does. They find <laughs> so true, kind of so freaking true. Cut up into pieces for science. Even if I ask them not to? Especially if you ask them not to. That'll just make them angry. Trust me, little Dashy. There is no better place for you than here with me. But if you want, Tomorrow I can stuff you down my shirt and we can go to the park. Okay. That's a good girl. Would you like a sugar cube? <laughs> Would I? Yes, please. And so life continued, with me falling into a terrible and boring routine with no real aspirations. The only link between me and the outside world and sanity was La Fonda. You're so lucky we found each other. I haven't been this happy since before my parents died. I'm being squished. Can I please have my own room? You're not ready yet. Day after day, on a diet of nothing but carrots, sugar cubes, and whatever else the Fonda would feed me. Just hanging around, fighting the power. Does that say 1994? The only breaks were the weekly colic episodes that turn hours into years. But worst of all was when my dad decided that I liked NASCAR on DVD. <laughs> I really obviously like the idea of racing. It looked like a lot of fun to ride in a race car because they go so fast. But sitting around just Gorilla watching tape. race cars go in circles for hours and having my monkey dad skip past the accidents was way boring. When I turned you skipped past the oh I was ready man, for a job, which is super lame. Of course, I couldn't have a real job because I'm a pony and the pony dissection labs and all. But every time I mow, I got a dad dollar, which I could turn into the dad store for cookies and stuff. So pretty huh? soon I just mowed the lawn to death. But then finally came the fateful day. Left home alone and with nothing else to do, I finished reading the phone book and decided to try reading receipts instead. It took me a little while to realize it, but dad dollars had major inflation. One dad dollar bought me stuff that cost like 30 cents or less. It was friggin' ridiculous. How long? How long what? How long has pocket lint had low market value? I've been misinvesting my entire future. Uh, I don't know, since forever? Since forever? Oh, man. That box upstairs is worthless. 
I can't believe it. I'm totally bankrupt. I'm gonna hurl myself off the roof. Talk me out of it, LaFonda. Okay, don't go hurl yourself off a roof. Gosh, why do you gotta be so dramatic? Because my life is boring. What else am I gonna make a big deal about? Seriously, it's like this or my whole afternoon is just over. It's not At last! Found <laughs> I found your domicile and no. LaFonda, the Joker. LaFonda, help. I, I think what kind of fun are they going to use here for this? <laughs> just how I always pictured them. You're a talking blue Pegasus. A small one, too. Normally they're majestic and white, unless... Well, they usually have more inspiring frames. No, I am, um... No, I am I'm a, a lawn ornament. A talking lawn ornament. It, hey! I'm very advanced. You being robbed over there? LaFonda, help! She ain't got no worse feeling! It's true. Only pocket lint and a plastic body without any interesting organs to look at. This is the home of the bat who lived. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's my stupid dad. Oh! <laughs> well, your dad's not home, is he? No, I'm a Oh victim, my god, is she. Is this Joker thing going to turn, uh. Very good at it. Very much no, evil? No, no, or, like, doing the. the yeah, basically doing the thing, like. Oh, I can give you so much better. What the fuck? Well, I guess so. I, I mean, like, I've never really been swimming. Is, is it very hard to learn? No! I'm going to lower you into the acid. You mean the, the, Are they gonna the turn... Oh, is she gonna bleach his... But, like, turn, you know, Rima Dash into no. the Joker or whatever? No. Section are mutually incompatible. Oh, God, wow. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Jeez. See, I was really worried there. Oh, man. So, so you like, you want to hang out or something? I really like 20 questions. Are you ready? Okay, I'm thinking of a thing. Okay, now ask me a question. You don't get out much, do you? Oh, nope. uh, no. Nah. <laughs> See, I can't really go out on that. Kinda, nope. Uh, I'm a pony and, and, and different and stuff, you know. So, I think society just, they, they sort of want to cut me open and, and look inside of me, I, I guess. Really? Yeah, I, I figure it's like, have you ever tried to look really far down your throat in the mirror? You know, I have the exact same problem with society. It's always trying to cross-examine my actions. Monkeys are always asking why I don't have a nose and why I shove my teeth and how come I wear a clown makeup, but this is the face of fear. <laughs> I have the face of Rainbow Dash. Well, it's nice to meet you, Rainbow Dash. I have the face I of Rainbow Dash. It's the Joker Mod. So society wants to dissect you too. The huh? Joker what? You know, nobody ever wants to dissect LaFonda. She doesn't understand. I know. It's so hard to find someone who truly relates to you. Yeah. Friendship is magic. Hey, uh, do you maybe want to go play a game? This is reminding me of No Second Francis. Supposed to be a great karaoke bar a few blocks from here. It is. Would you like to go? It's uh, kind of the gosh, same exact I uh, I don't even care what scenario. Dash, Dash, where are you? Don't, don't hide. I have a sugar cube. Come out. Sugar cube. Excuse me. Okay, this is going to sound crazy, but have you seen a bright blue winged pony around here? Maybe more in lines for cookies. You can tell me. Don't hide her from me. She'll kill your lawn. Excuse me. Have we met before? Because my name is Boudica Stephanie Cadillac Washington, and my little girl LaFonda is always talking about a little blue pony. Has you been talking to her? Or more importantly, has she been talking to you? Because she ain't supposed to be talking to no strangers. What? No. No, I don't, I don't know who that is. I'm looking for a bright blue pony. Bright blue. You can't miss her. She might choke on something if I don't find her. Uh, you ain't answer my question. I asked you if my daughter done talked to you. I haven't talked to your daughter. Have you seen a magic pony? Well, maybe I seen a pony. Well, what are you gonna do if I seen a pony? You gonna come back to my place? And oh my pony? god! Because I've had a few styles. Hey, there's, uh, what's your face? My little tender woman. Uh, you like curvy women? This... This, this conversation has taken a turn I was not prepared for. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for that either. Mama, ain't you got somewhere to be? Mama looking for her stallion. But Mama, that monkey's a bat wizard. Well, it sound like it make a lot of money. No, not really. Where did you see the magic pony? In your backyard? 
She went off with some monkey in clown makeup and a graduation dress. Oh no! Um, so oh no! Explain this magic pony thing. The face. LaFon, is you buying drugs? Is this a drug deal right in my nose? Because it sounds like Puff the Magic Dragon. I have to go. I have to go. That's like okay. pretty good just animation. Just what's on the screen? Yes, dear. It's very fun. And, when you finish and that the voice sounds very familiar on the Joker <laughs> thing, Magic. Okay, that's cool. I'm not very fast at reading, though. You know, I really like to read, but all I have are phone books. That's all right. <laughs> we'll do a way. So I'll begin, and you just... Tubby Wubby Pony Waifu. Ready? I think that you're rather unique. Perhaps you're something new. And if you like to oblige, I'd like to get to know you. You seem fundamentally fun. I feel like being your friend. Let's see the big city sights and find how well we blend. I hope you won't mind if I, I swear I've heard this song before. Oh no. I hope you like all my jokes and that you're I do. I heard it in one of the My Little Pony Meets videos by uh, 2KNLDM. I can't remember which one though. Uh, was it the Joker Meets My Little Pony? I think it might have been, or was it the Batman Meets My Little Pony? Because I recognize the song. I'll have to double check that. <laughs> There's the floor shy on the big bad dude. Rat attack. I want you to know that even though you're a horse, you feel something inside me that I never realized was missing. Wow, that's amazing. I mean, what's gonna happen at the end? She's also key markless, so. Monkey I've ever talked to. I just, I don't know. I always feel anxious and unhappy, but out here in the fresh air, I feel like things are pretty neat. Well. I hope you realize this just I think it was the Joker meets My Little Pony where that one comes into play. I think that's where I heard this from. And just have the balls. God, I could turn that into such a nasty. Uh, hey, there's a Twilight one. There's a Twilight. I saw that. Oh, there was a Harley Quinn. Oh God. Oh my god, she's Harley Quinn? <laughs> Is this universe like Batman slash Harry Potter? Alico, I'm still trying to make out what that is. I think it means Alicorn? My dad says that all the time, but coming from someone who's not my dad... It just makes me feel really special. It also remind me of you Divergent. Know I know. <laughs> I've always hated your father. <laughs> well, he's always following along your plans. I would expect so. Okay. Oh boy. Now it's gonna. Oh shit. Where have you two been? Ah, you. You see, we were here. When I arrive at a kidnapping scene, I expect to see a victim, the villain, and a vat of boiling acid. But look at this. What is this? This acid isn't even lukewarm. It's room temperature. Are you sure? I thought I said the vat to a simmer. You turned it This is seriously reminding me so much of No Second Prances. This is crazy, except for the romance. Are you doing no shipping. Like, like that. Why? Well, I, I thought, um. Well, we we got um, I had some wheat beer. That was pretty cool. Oh well, wheat that's beer. Good. Oh my god. Not allowed to have beer. Why? We are going home. You are a bad villain. That's you a cool cosplay be. for Harley Quinn. Not allowed. And the Joker. Pre pretty good. Again. What do you mean he's a nice guy? Are you insane? No, I, I don't know. But we sang a song together, and he didn't dissect me or anything. And I don't see what's so wrong about dating the Joker more. Yeah, I'll have to double check on the I'm your point wife thing. I can get dissected all day, but you said I would get dissected. Oh my god, I cannot believe what I am hearing. I am the bat. 
That voice! That voice sounds so familiar! Oh my god, I'm gonna have to check the credits. And the only reason you didn't get dissected uh, why is because... Why not? I hate it here. I'm so bored and I don't have any friends and all you do is hug me and... and, and, and Sugar cubes. Me, and I'm so lonely. And then I meet someone else and you... Dash, you listen to me. I am your father. You're not my real dad. You're not my Dash, real dad. Dash, I am your father. <laughs> Sorry. Bad pun, I know. I want to speak to you again. <sighs> okay, so are we at the... I can't see him anymore. Can you believe that? Well, fuck. Sure can't. I know, right? So, what's so great about that? What kind of cell phone is that? It looks like a Teen oh. Titans communicator thing. Well, he likes to laugh a lot, and 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 he's yeah. a total rebel. So he I see the Michael Jackson cool. thing in the background. And, uh, he's really different than everyone else. It's the bad cup, uh, CD comments. cover. Well, he sure sounds great. I know. Um, but I, I, I was just wondering, actually, um. Is it is it normal for a boyfriend to kill other monkeys? Oh, that's just what men do, girl. They always kill uh, and disrespect in them. But so wait, what, what does that say? Bad? What does that say? So bad bubble. One of the rims on his car. They were all like, "Oh, hey, nice rim job." And David shot. Him. Wow. Or at least that's what he said he did. Anyway. Bub bubbles. Okay. <laughs> Whew. See, I was really worried it wasn't normal, know. but I wasn't gonna say anything because I didn't know for sure. So I guess if other boyfriends do it, then it's okay, and I won't bother him about it. I feel so much better knowing that. Oh. You. No, no, don't get angry. You. I'm here to make amends. I think you've done enough. Not only did you involve Dash in a horrible crime spree across the city, but now <laughs> she's under the insane assumption that the government doesn't want to cut her into pieces. Okay, now just hear me out. What if they don't? What if all this isolation from society and keeping her entirely to yourself was unnecessary? Are you implying she'd be better off with researchers? Maybe just someone who knows about horses. Uh, or someone with excuse me. Oh, oh is this supposed to be the ending to the Melodashi? I'm the bat who lived. The Joker Moy. I am the boy who you lived. Cannot drive him away. Can't you see that I'm in love? Oh, <laughs> Love is why I came here. You see, I've just built a time activated device. Very soon now, you'll turn the entire world into ponies, finally making you normal and allowing us to live together. Okay, okay. That's so romantic. What? <laughs> the door was open, so I figured y'all must be home or robbed. Y'all got a second? Kinda busy here. Yes. Kinda busy here. True love. Oh. So there was a magical pony. Hello. Well, Hello. I mean, his mama. Hey, LaFonda. What, mama? How come you didn't tell me you weren't crazy or buying drugs? I tried to <laughs> you ain't listen. Well, I guess I owe y'all an apology. Here. I baked y'all a pie. What the? <laughs> oh, what? And Jesus. there they are. More of them. You got magic the question is, why does Twilight have her element of harmony? Is that like a bill you gotta pay for the city, or is that like a leak or something? You see, I told you, it took. They all have their elements of harmony. Why do they have the elements of harmony? Element of harmony with the other five, but it took two weeks to convince you that. Butters, what's Spike doing there? Kindness. Yeah, well, what's kind about her? Well, I'm not really much of anything. What the heck? Me, I take care of a lot of animals, and I guess it was could... rhetorical. Oh my gosh! I always knew I was a princess from another dimension, and <laughs> one day my knights would find me. No. <laughs> what? You got fat. What have you been eating? Oatmeal. <laughs> Look with your tongue. I knew I noticed the weight change. Memories. <laughs> yeah. Again. Okay, yeah, Pinky's you know being the opposite are. of exactly who no. she is. <laughs> the seventh time. The seventh time. Okay, I don't even care. Let's just go home. No. No, you can't take Dash away from me. I need... I, I mean, she needs me. She'll be all alone. No, baby, you ain't gonna be alone. Utica gonna be right. Um, <laughs> That's right, baby. Oh, my God. All your problems go away. I... I don't have any money. Uh, well, you think I'm some kind of prostitute or something? <laughs> it's okay. I'm glad I didn't take a sip of coffee. <laughs> it's all right. You ponies, uh, just take your little friend and go ahead. I'll take care of my little tenderoni here. Gross. We didn't need your permission, but thank you. <laughs> Come on, Rainbow Dash. Holy shit, she is fat. Oh, Flush, I got left behind. Uh-oh. 
Okay, so who? That looks like Dr. Hooves. So Rainbow Dash went home, leaving behind her adoptive friends and family without really a word of exposition or logical explanation, which is probably for the best because she never really did totally understand what the other ponies were talking about, but Twilight said lesson learned, so it probably won't happen again. The Joker Mort, though at first not sure what to do without any thumbs, eventually adapted oh, to his magic powers and mad genius to build an army. I can't believe I did not just catch that. Yeah, but it's in definitely the Batman and Harry Potter type universe because... Under the very strict supervision uh, Voldemort. Uh, so Joker Mort. That makes sense. Harry. It was actually a girl monkey who was really sick, and Harry's dad spent the night with her, and then he got really sick, and he didn't want to tell anyone, though, because he thought he would get in trouble for some reason. Um... And so he came home, and then Harry's mom got really sick, too, but for some reason, Harry didn't get sick, but... Uh, anyway, though, from then forward, Harry became a guidance counselor, and he traveled around the inner city giving lectures on the importance of awareness and stuff to kids. LaFonda got accepted into Banana College on a banana scholarship, where she got a banana degree in dentistry. She developed a special device for brushing teeth without the aid of hands, thanks in part to the inside of Dash complaining for hours about it, and she made millions in banana dollars. And finally, Rainbow wow. Dash, best pony in two dimensions now, did her best to lose all that weight and earn her cutie mark back in her home world. <laughs> she eventually find out that the thing she was best at was racing, Dash never did figure out good dieting, so she was pretty much ruined for life, because she could never get light enough to fly. Yeah. Fly. So, yeah, all that bad parenting did not really do Dash a whole lot of favors. <sighs> but Dash totally made like a zillion pony friends, which is pretty much infinity better than one friend who isn't even the same species, and otherwise she did okay. So, at the end. What the? What was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? Oh, God. Am I really gonna have to watch this stupid ad? Oh, God. Nope, I'm not watching through because I'll get copyright. Well, <laughs> that, <laughs> that was interesting. I, I'm gonna say it wasn't, like, YouTube poop bad. It was actually pretty interesting. I will have to double check on the song though. I'm your pony waifu. I think that's what it was called. That was funny <laughs> and just very strange altogether. I was very, very like, what? <laughs> but it was good. Good jokes in there. That, and I can agree with some of the parts on the actual My Little Dash. I mean, what? did she do in all that time when she was trapped inside of the house? I mean, I know that he took her to certain places, you know, exercise and all that stuff, but <clears throat> she had to have been bored. She had to have. This opened up some plot holes in the original story, but it also had uniqueness to it and humor, which is usually what these things do. <laughs> I mean, I remember the Rainbow Factory one, which was basically, instead of killing Pegasi, they just threw crayons into the Pegasus device, and voila, you don't have to kill ponies anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty funny, humorous, weird, but altogether just a good, um, I can't really call it an animation, because it's not an animation, it's more like a picture a kind of like comic type animation. It's really very well done, and I did enjoy that. I was kind of getting bored toward the middle, I don't know if you guys saw that, I was kind of not talking very much, but... Hi, nice, Sweet Bell. And... More toward the end, it got interesting with the romance and all that stuff, and it was really reminiscent of normal, uh kid to their parents, you know, arguments over relationships and all that stuff, and then the ending was just like, what? But that was funny, and just plain hilarious. I didn't expect it to be taken seriously, I expected it to parody the actual story. Which it did. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction, and until next time, it's all for now, like, comment, subscribe for more, and hit the bell icon. And until next time, take care. Bye for now. Bye for now.